What's up everyone? This is the Destroyer229 and welcome back to Let's Play Jet Force Gemini. Last time we got through all of the Floyd missions and we gold ranked the SS Anubis and got us some earplugs. In this episode, we've started our exploration of the four bonus worlds, starting with Walkway. Now there is a life force door right there. The machine gun is much more effective in taking care of these drones. Like so, they all just died. So there is a jet pad here. And it's going to give us 20 fuel. Not a whole lot. Go up here. Tribal. There's a lot more of them, though. Don't think that's the only one you can reach with a jetpack. Got a bonus statue. And another tribal right there. Gotta be really careful because it's very, very easy to fall off. And there's also, I think I see a tribal right there, but let me refuel. You really want to come back and try to refuel as much as possible. So jump down here. Another tribal. And since the fuel pad's right here, let's go ahead and fuel up. I believe there's one more on the outside and it's down over here. Do, 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 do. Yep. Don't be afraid, Mr. Tribal. Wow, you are just on a sl very steep slant. So there you go. Four tribals right there on the outside. Now you'll remember there was Diamond Geezer and our homing missiles. But since we now have the crowbar in our possession, we can head down here. And so we just go down an elevator. And there's a door. Let's go through it. Uh, yeah. Shield dr Wait, are those shield drones? Those are shield drones. Shurikens. Shurikens. Ow. All right. No. Damn shurikens. Give me head. Oh, by the way, speaking of which, I've actually unlocked a few things by collecting enough drone heads. By getting 100 drone heads total, you unlock the cheat Rainbow Blood. And by getting 200, you get the Jet Force Kids, which basically shrinks Juno and Vela down to like 12 or 13 year olds. <laughs> Does nothing to Lupus. And Rainbow Blood is just self explanatory. I'm gonna put both of those on. I'm not sure if it does anything right now. Oh, it does! <laughs> Look how big Juno's head is! <laughs> I mean, look at that. Just look at the size of his head. <laughs> okay, well, I'll keep Rainbow Blood on. But I'm going to take Jet Force Kids off. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to what we're supposed to be doing. So yeah, the rainbow blood, we'll see, tribals, the last two of them, now we just gotta find our way out, oh, rainbow blood, just look at all of it, <laughs> yeah, that's what rainbow blood does, if Ow. It makes their blood all rainbow-like. All purples and greens and blues and pinks. 
Lots of different colors. Wait, what? How'd I miss a drone? Where are you? You deserve to be exploded in a giant cloud of colors. <laughs> there we go. I don't get why, but they reuse Rith Essa's track right here. I don't know why, and it's only in this one elevator. I just thought that... I've always thought that being weird, but... Not why they put in a completely different planet's track on that one section, but... Oh well. That's pretty much it for... Walkway, though. All the tribals are now ours. And that's all we really need to do here. There's nothing much else. So that's going to do it for us here. So, next time on Let's Play Jet Force Gemini, we're going to head on over to our second bonus destination. In case you didn't notice it, we are going in order from how I unlocked them. So we're going to head on over to the space station. Until then. And damn, that was not a long episode at all. Okay, to be fair, I was intending to end the episode off there. But I feel six minutes is a really, really short episode. So we're here at the space station. I'm going to go ahead and combine these two episodes now. If you try to jump up and over, you're going to land back at your ship. So you got to be real careful and just fall. And there's a tribal down here. Hello there, little tribal. Is there another tribal over here? Guess not. Okay, well, we have a crate here. Get up here. Space Station has some really creepy music to it, too. Yeah, come on. Come on, Vela. Jump on the box. Damn it. Get up. There we go. And there's another tribal. Alright. Let's head on over this way. Any more tribals? No. But we do have another chest. And she didn't even have to shoot it. We found the flamethrower. Uh-oh. Remember that berserk flaming drones can damage your health. Yes, this is the second novelty type item after the shocker. The flamethrower. And if soon there it is. I just think the flamethrower looks awesome as a gun. Oh, another tribal. But basically, it does what it says. If you hit a drone, they will go crazy. And they will try to run into you. They are on fire, so they hurt. So do be careful. That's why the shocker is probably a better novelty type item. Now, you'll remember that I said that there was another weapon that I thought we were missing. This was what I was originally thinking about. But now that I think about it and I put it in... Kind of annotation like things before. Uh, I think there's another weapon that we get as well. But I'll go ahead and test both out to see which one it is. Now, we can try going back over there, but if we try jumping up, we are more than likely going to run into our ship. So the best solution to getting out of here without hitting the ship. JUMP OFF THE SIDE INTO THE DEEP abyss OF SPACE! It uses up a continue, but... Oh well, you're probably not going to die. The problem with the abandoned wreck is that it's pretty tough to see... ...anything at all. Oh hey, expansion. For 
The flamethrower. Wait, flamethrower gets an. I did not know flamethrower got an expansion. Huh. So maybe that expansion is for the flamethrower. I'm not sure. We'll find out eventually, though. And. I'm willing to bet it's for one, either the cluster bomb or the, um. Ah! Cluster bomb or remote mines. Ah! Dang, there are a ton of things that we can't do yet. Tribal! Tribal! You know, I'll come back here again to see if these expansions are for Juno's weapons. I really want to show that what these are for. Ah, another tribal. Another tribal. What is that noise? Alright, let's jump! Damn it. Bonus statue. Alright, well, we're gonna have to make our way back over there. Duh. Okay, come on. Tribal! <laughs> Didn't expect you to be right out there, little buddy. Alright. Now where are we? We're at another tribal, apparently. Can I jump up here? Maybe. Maybe! Darn it. Alright, I don't think we can. Alright, gotta backtrack. Eh. I swear, this music is really starting to get to me. Is this the way I came? Yeah, it's the way I came. And... Oh! Wow! The way down! Alright, I believe there's like three floors to this crap tribal's right there. There's more of you little rascals. Where are they? Oh, well, save the tribals now while I have a chance. Alright, there's three floors to this. As in, like, three elevators. At the very bottom, there- Ah! Whoa! Way to teleport right behind me, dude. Anyway. The third area, third level of this does not contain any tribals. In fact, I don't think it contains anything. And we only need one more tribal, so you know what? Screw it. You know what? Let's explore. <laughs> There's one last tribe. Oh. Okay, I guess we're going to say screw it anyway. So yeah, there's one more tribal left. We saw where it was at. I'm gonna go ahead and get oh get him. Nice the bonus statue. Come on, Vela. Get a grip. And there are more drones. Fantastic! Ah. Well, that took care of that problem. Hey, the elevator. Back up. All right. Okay, come on. Yeah, door. 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 Thank you. Oh. Well. That is oddly convenient. I think I went through the space station in like record time. I don't think I've ever gone through it this quickly. So that's pretty much it. There's, there's more places to explore, but if you're just after the tribals... I really don't see what the point is. Okay, well, this is a dead end. But I'm going to come back here as Juno. I'm going to go get those, see what those expansions are for. See if they're, they are for, like, the cluster bombs and the remote mines and all those other useless craptastic items. But as for Vela, we're just going to head back to the ship. And complete it. So I will meet you guys back here as. Wait. Actually, I want to see. Will I jump up and hit the ceiling? Or can I grab onto it? 
Can I grab onto that? Or... I'm trying to see if you really do need to kill yourself to get back there. Hmm. I don't see a way. Unless I'm just not in the right spot. Ah, I hit my head. You know what? This is taking way too much of your guys' time. So I'll meet you back here at Juno, and we'll see what those ammo expansions are. Alright, so now that we're here is Juno, let's see what those ammo expansions are for, real quick. Mwahaha! <laughs> oh, that was... Wait, were there no tribals here? I guess not, so it wasn't risky at all. Hooray. Alright, let's see where these ammo expansions are. Hey, there's one that's lit up. Yup! Remote mines! Ah! Woo boy! I almost done blew up me a tribal! I don't know why I sounded like a stereotypical western person right there. <laughs> oh boy! And what's this? Wow! More remote mines! Just what we needed! Alright, well that, that at least solves that mystery. And I guess I'll go ahead and give Juno the flamethrower and see... And I'll return to that point eventually. Darn it! I'm mildly lost! No! Well, I guess I can just end off the episode anyway, so you guys aren't just watching me stumble my way back to the entrance. So, next time on Let's Play Jet Force Gemini, for real! If you don't believe me, look down to the... Damn it, I'm going around in circles. Look down on the... Oh, whatever, screw it. Next time, we're gonna continue exploring the bonus world, Gem Quarry. You know the drill. I done can't speak anymore. Meh. Until then.